Good morning, uh, folks. Today, we are going to be starting a uh, post and beam kit build. You can see the foundation here. It's going to be 48 feet, 24 feet deep. It'll be a salt box style. This is a, a pretty exciting job. I've had a bunch of them this year that are just all you very unique projects. This is the last one of the year. And then I'm going into hibernation. I'm going to take care of my foot. Uh, still waiting to see a uh, physical therapist. They wanted to start there, see what they can find out. So here, look, let's look over here. As they say, some assembly required. <laughs> we'll, we'll unpackage. Everything is labeled. It should be a really straightforward build. The first thing we're going to want is uh, six by sixes, pressure treated. I see one there, here, here. So we'll probably sort a lot of this material. Chad and Dan are out today, so it's, it's just me, as far as I know. Uh, pretty excited about this. So we'll cut those open, get them uh, sorted out. And we'll get on to this. So sweep off. We had a snowstorm uh, at home. We got we got four or five inches. They only they only got a dusting here. It looks like, and I'm only half an hour away from from them. No, that's that's really nice. It's just snow. There's no ice on there, so we don't have to chip ice off to start. With these anchor bolts, uh, we're using, putting a six by six beam pressure, pressure treated on top of this. <clears throat> so we'll drill down with a Forstner bit to get down, to get some good catch onto that. Then we'll drill through the center of that to finish that off. What, and this is so exciting, so exciting. <laughs> I'm like a little kid again. Well, I use a broom when you can use, use a leaf blower. <laughs> okay, so it's gonna be fun. Ed's working with me today. Uh, we go to the same church, he's a great guy. So we're unpackaging everything, trying to get to the pressure treated sill plates. That'll be the first order of business. Uh, so here we go. Oh my heart, this is heavy. Yeah, wet hemlock. <laughs> Just going to show you this so every single piece is labeled on the end and this uh haven't figured it out looks like maybe a, a rim board or a top plate but it's all marked 16 inches on center everything's done should be pretty so we're going to sort this as we go just so we're not making it you know offloading a big pile and putting it elsewhere Just a quick little sideline story. So this this is uh, the booklet of all the directions. They have pictures. It's really well laid out. The cover of this Linderville Savings Bank. So this is my last job. This was Linderville Savings Bank was my first job. It's the first place I worked right out of high school back in 1972. Worked there for six years in various departments and then moved on. But that's just funny. This bank isn't even around now. Who'd have thought? Here, I'll lug this one over. Did they, they did put a number on it. So this is the first, one of the first bottom plates. See, we've got to drill with a Forstner bit down in to get it down at least 
enough so we can get a nut and washer on. So we're just going to place them all the way around for now. I'll, I'll dig. Good exercise. I'll dig for stuff here. Don't get hurt. No. I can't get hurt for two more weeks, or until I'm until we're done here. <laughs> right. So here's a couple more. These are for each end. This is the only shoulder that's still good <laughs> of the four that I have. Oh wait, I don't have four shoulders. The video that came out yesterday, I kind of mentioned that something about Moses got had to put all the animals on two by two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I I know it wasn't Moses, it was Noah. Thanks for pointing that out and picking on me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. We're moving all these. These are the boards. Most of which will go on the back wall. They're a shiplap. That's that's uh, one of the beams uh, posts. I mean, that, cause that's hemlock. The last post. I thought it was. I may I may have gotten them. I don't know. That's why you're building this, not me, Ken. There. I think we're done sorting for a little bit. And so it begins with a, what's it, the uh, carriage shed kit post and beam building. Let's get a little closer look at it. You can see that we've laid out all the beams ahead of time. They're numbered, so it's, it's like putting together an erector set, theoretically. I'm hoping. <laughs> you can see the foundation's all in. Ed did most of the site work, he got it all prepared. Okay, I guess we'll uh, do it. So, we are, we're all set up. We tried these at Ed's suggestion, and I'm glad he did. We know that it's the right length. He was remarking that, it's interesting, way up here north, somebody pouring a concrete wall 24 feet matched up with someone building a, a kit 24 feet. So that's pretty cool. Came out right. So, let me get there. a, how about a sledgehammer? A sledgehammer. <laughs> so, uh, I'll, I'll line it up with the square, and then if you could give it a love tap. You lo love tap? Okay. I think that's good. The hole's going to be a little oversized for the anchor bolt. Yep. Yeah. You think it made an indentation? Ta-da! Yeah! Oh, perfect! <laughs> All right. Small. Small things. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to use three different drills because we need to get down below. We have to drill into this for the anchor bolt. So we yeah. use a pilot hole. Drill. So what do we want? Probably we'll leave. I think we'll go down to about two inches. I'll try to go steady with it. Yeah, I wonder if you can brace against, which way would you want to brace against that? Yes! Ooh! You think we got it? <laughs> Man alive. Let me show the folks at home 
So that's like a, just a little deep hole there. You want me to come through from this side? I was wondering. Th then we know where the hole is. Do that. <laughs> Woo! Look at that. All of a sudden we got one ready. Look Let's, at that. <laughs> hey, you think it fits? Let's do it. You want to do it this way? Yeah, just for variety. <laughs> there, do we have all the bugs worked out of it now? I think it's almost like we know what we're doing. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So that one took half a morning. We'll probably <laughs> do the rest before lunch. I was reading in the manual that says uh, it should take two men 40 hours. I don't think so. To do the whole building? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So one here, one here, one there. Uh, as long as we don't tighten them down. Yeah. 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 I got debris in here. Can we flip it over on the somewhere? That'll do. That'll do, pig. Perfect. Back to you, little. Can, can you pick up just a minute and then pull it back? Don't get your fingers caught. Yeah. <laughs> We'd have to leave them. <laughs> yeah, they're not going home. Hi, Lauren. How are you? How are you? Great. Hey, Chad's back. We're going to... Uh, Carry on while Ed tightens the the anchor bolts. Yeah, now you're going to Woohoo! <laughs> so we have to transfer all these marks up on top. Got him? Good job. Could you grab some those blocks and set two there and two there so we can set this up? Or or I mean is that good for you? Are you here to help? Yes. Are you? Two, no, just those two. There's one on top over by Ed. Just so we can set this post on it, uh, beam. Yep. So when we drill, Chad, we have to, these are all different heights, the anchor bolts. Standard is, if uh, something, what is standard? If it's three inches, we go, there's a certain depth that we want to go. So if it's only two and a half, we've been writing half inch more or less. Or So this one is standard. We're going with standard instead of regular, two and a half. Standard so this, is two and a half. pardon me? Standard is two and a half? No, standard is three. Well, this one is two and a half. So we got to go half inch more. Yeah, if we just write a half. All drilled out and on we go. Woo! Looks like this is it. We are ready. We're going to start over here with, we're going to do uh, 
one, two, three, four, five across the back and one on each side, six by six posts. Do you want to lug them, Chad? No, I'm a wimp, because I'm a wimp. So we're going, yep. This on, you think? Okay. First post. Woohoo! What's that? Yes. Yeah. It doesn't get any better than this. Chad let me use this Milwaukee. <laughs> and now the corner posts, those have a special, they're cut so that we can put the outside ledger boards on the outside. Because that's why they call it all the outside ledger board. Oops. Wow. This, this, it's not right. I mean, all of a sudden it looks like we did a ton of stuff. Yeah, that helped. That helped that. Yep, I'm good. We spent about five hours putting these plates down because it's a perfect example of why I don't like to use anchor bolts because you have to notch and cut around. Oh, there is. Did you make that mark? Yep. Chad, you're a genius. As far as I got to Oh. Still a genius. <laughs> <laughs> Huh, no misfires. Oops, oops. I gotta move the drone. I was trying to stay in close for you, but I guess we gotta turn that a little bit. That's looking really good. Give you an overall picture of it. So the pressure treat, what's that? Did you do that? This is off just a pinch. Like a quarter. We had to trim a quarter inch off that end, so I think that's where we're... Something happened. Somewhere. These are hemlock posts. They're full six inches by six inches. The six by sixes are only five and five eighths approximately. That one's off quite a bit. Right there. Comes to the 
corner post. This kit's pretty nice. It actually, pretty much everything is right on. That one's good. The, there's marks there, Chad. It's good. Look at that, wow. You like it? Pardon? Not sure if the fun is good or not. Okay, it looks good. You put a nail on that side? Right. Time we got. Probably should pick up, I guess. Okay, so that did did it for today. <laughs> we did those posts in uh, maybe five minutes. That it should go quickly from now on up through. So one, once we got the base down, the base was a slow go. All right, so end of day one. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. That's ours, yeah. <laughs>